Let's have a little look at this note. Mr. F. Morgan. For the file. Live pig yesterday? What is this? Riverside Slaughterhouse. Live hog. Okay. Um, I'll do it for that. Oh, what's this? It doesn't give me anything to go on. Um, anything else? I felt a clue. Let's have a look. Anything in these little bits of bushes? Nope. All right, let's talk to this guy. Sir, I'm Detective Phelps. Name's Nate Wilkie. You found the vehicle? Sure. Saw it just sitting there. Strange place to be parking your car. Figured I'd better take a look. And then I saw all the blood. So I called the police. Right, uh... What's your purpose, I ask what you were doing out here? Well, I work for the railway. I was on my way out to the switch and reckon I'd take a shortcut. Yeah, he's telling the truth. He's holding a pretty solid gaze. Did you see anybody else in the yard? Maybe somebody hanging around the car? Nope. I hadn't seen a soul all day till you boys turned up. Uh, knowledge of Adrian Black. Do you know Adrian Black, Mr. Wilkie? No, sir. That ain't a name I'm familiar with. Again, he's holding a pretty solid gaze, so... He must be telling the truth, right? You ever seen the car before? Funny enough, I did. A couple of nights ago, it was over there in the parking lot. I know most of the cars are parked here regular, so it kind of stood out. Thank you for your patience, Mr. Wilkie. If you don't mind waiting a little longer, I'm sure we'll have more questions once we've had a look around. Okay, let's have a little look around. Oh, there's a lot of blood in there. Victim hey. looks to have lost a lot of blood. <laughs> Is there an echo in here? Okay. Can we open the hood? Uh, nope. Uh, what's this over here? Oh. Yeah, object and search for points of interest. Hold when you feel vibration to allow the camera to zoom. Oh, there we go. Instant heat. Might give us something to go on. Hmm. Instant heat. So we got a bloody pipe. By the looks of it, it might have been the murder weapon by some heat piping company. What's going on, um, guys? Anything over here, maybe? Maybe in the barrels? Nope. I think you can. Sp what is this? Press LB to spend an intuition point. Now we have five intuition points. Can be used to highlight undiscovered clues on the map, making them easy to locate. So, show all clues, maybe? Yeah, we've got one remaining point.
Ooh. Happier times, I guess. Could be the victims. Interview Mr. Black. Years old, Mr. Black. Married. Sounds like an average guy. What was he doing out here? Adrian Black. Interesting. And we've got some glasses here as well. Stenzel glasses. Home repaired by the look of it. Oh. Okay. So we've got some Stenzel glasses that are home repaired. Awesome. Investigate music starts when all clues are discovered. That was kind of pointless me spending an intuition point then because they're all highlighted with <laughs> all the clues have got these little A, B's and C's on it. Oh well. I went to see how to spend one so I, I guess I learnt that. So all clues are discovered. Now what do we do? I'm stumped. Ideas? Have a word with the witness. It's not often we get eyeballs in a case like this. What do you think? Have a word with the witness. It's not often we get eyeballs in a case like this. Who's the witness? What? Bloodstain pipe. Found a steel pipe with blood on it near the car. You know anything about it, Mr. Wilkie? No, sir. I went straight for the law when I saw the car was full of blood. So he's holding a really good gaze. Um, so I'd say he's telling the truth. Look at him, he's just looking at us. When you saw the blood, was it wet, bright red, or uh, darker like it is now? Darker, I'd say. Looked dry already. Uh, contents the of the by wallet. The car. Was there anything in it when you arrived? You accusing me of something, mister? Damn. Do you want the patrolman to hold you down while we turn out your pockets, Mr. Wilkie? Maybe I checked inside that wallet. Not that I was going to steal anything. Maybe I took a look. But there weren't no money in there. Not even change. Thank you for your help, Mr. Wilkie. Oh, four, four, correct. Your employer if we need anything more from you. If you have to, I guess. I can't really spend no more time over this. Somebody's got to inform the wife, Phelps. If you're done here, we'll head over there now. Okay, sweet. Right then, so we found a blood pipe that was done by some heating pipe work. Uh, we found a wallet with that woman in it, who I guess we're going to talk to now. Um... Found some glasses that apparently were hand home repaired. Uh, I might drive there. Makes change. So, black residence. Set of destination. Cool. 620 Bunker Hill Avenue. You know where that is? Behind Bunker Hill. Whoa, the birds. A couple blocks north of Central Station. Buddy? So, what do we tell the wife? Play it by the book. There's no stiff yet, so let's see how it plays out. Crossover, keep going straight. Sweet. Ryan. So let's go see what the wife has to say. Could be a car theft gone wrong. Make Black drive somewhere lonely, then give him a tap. But why leave the car? Didn't really want to do that. Well, obviously someone got a little heavy hand. It's the wrong way around. Well, how so, genius? Ryan. Where is Adrian? If you've gone to all the trouble to steal the car and it goes wrong, you leave the body behind, not the car. That's a Doesn't add up. Nope. This is well good. Right. So hopefully we can get a bit of a lead from uh, the girl. Did you read about the guy in the crossing yesterday? Oops. No, what happened? Over on Lincoln Avenue. This guy's driving along and his oil light comes on. He stops the car and gets out. He pops up.